Hey there guys, today I want to do a quick review of uh, the 6x10 trailer I got from Trailers Plus. Now I went with the 6x10 because of the weight restrictions. The 6x10 weighs roughly 2300 pounds uh, empty. I'm only allowed to pull 5,000 pounds with the half ton truck. So, and then the uh, six by 12 was 3,000 pounds. So 700 pounds heavier for two extra feet. I think the 10 foot will probably meet my needs. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about was, I see everybody putting uh, two by fours and putting a two by 12 sides on so yeah and uh the thing is if you can look straight down you have this in the way of the two by four and then down here it's offset so it's kind of hard to put the two by four in there and of course there's not one in the middle for you they do have them here the ones in the front only had the top. So what I did is I went to Menards and they got this unit strut. It's a heavy duty unit strut. Um, they had it cut in two foot sections already and I just welded it. And I had an old porch from this flip house that had a lot of these one by sixes and I reused it repurposed it put some carriage bolts in there it's working out good okay show you the inside Got your pump, your battery. That can go right there. It's got a magnet on it. You can keep it outside your box. But now I've used it once. I had a load of rock, and uh, they did great. Pulled great. Did great. I'm gonna set it back down. A little different setup than everybody else. Everybody's got the two by two by fours coming out. Of course, this the six by ten didn't come with the slots for the two by four. So Unistrut electricians use Unistrut for everything. You go to electricians house they'll probably have this in their closets hanging clothes on it i mean it's good for everything so of course i got the six by ten because uh i got a half ton truck of course it didn't have this has got electric brakes on it so you have to have that seven flat so i installed the brake control, you can see it right there. And when you do that, you have to tie it into your brake pedal. There's a clip up there. And for this 94 Ford, it's a solid green wire. Okay. One quick thing I want to talk about is a friend of mine when he went to dump he didn't latch his doors so his door was left open like this and when he dumped it bent his hinges up bent his door up so he had a hard time shutting it now all we did was 
that's a what I call a factory gap you want that gap so if this door's bent out this way then you would have to stick something in between here and shut it and it would or beat it with a hammer or something if it's closed you can put like a crescent wrench down there and shut the door and it will open that gap up so at harbor freight you can get this for like 35 40 bucks a netting that goes over it the trailer did come with these two ramps don't really need it and it's just extra weight so i took it off there it goes. Thank you for watching.